This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and amazing, I get to go first. I'm playing this Performer Pal Magician Zoo deck yet again, and oh my god, we've opened with the spice. Alright, so what I can do here is, I've got the Dragoon's Draconia on hand, which means I don't have to search that with, uh, with my, um, with my nonsense. Uh, but I do get to put, uh, the Pendulum Sorcerer in the scale and use Barrage on it, just to maintain it as a card. So that is what we're going to do, because we've got the Duelist Alliance that we can use um, to get access into Pendulum Rising to allow for a very, very good play string uh, going forward. So we're going to just do this, and someone commented on the last video that I made, it's like, why aren't you just playing Pure Zoo if you're just uh, making Emerald and Dryden all the time? It's not really the case of, like why I'm doing this, because I'm doing this because of the fact that this is a deck that post ban list has the better draw engine out of any of the zoo variants, and it's got one of the most strong like backup plans as well because of the fact that this engine that this deck has is uh, is something that allows you to pendulum summon every turn, like that's that's a huge thing so uh, we'll add a whip tail to end because that'll support the drydent and then this could also go under something if I need it to, but so what happens from here is that I activate the Dragoons in my scale, and then I use this for the Pendulum Rising, and then I go into my Shaka 9 and go from there uh, to get back my stuff, to get back my rep here that I will not be used to, using to overlay with, but I will be able to send it off Pendulum Rising. So, I mean, basically the Pendulum Engine that this deck has access to is just the, one of the strongest things that you could have. Um, access to in terms of being a nice supplement to what you're doing. Now I could have gotten Luster uh, off, off of the uh, Duelist Alliance, but I don't see any real need. Uh, now because of the fact that I've got this on the board, I could pop the Barrage or I could leave the Barrage to be a resource for later. I definitely want to pop this and I haven't normal summoned yet so I am going to do the combo where I just use uh, the pop on the Pendulum Sorcerer itself. So, adding Geturtle and adding Skullcrobat Joker, and so this will allow me to do the full thing with Wisdom Eye Magician and everything. Uh, so it just basically, the supplemental engine the Performer Pals and the Pendulum mechanic itself gives you, just gives you a nice recovery option, a nice recovery plan uh, that ends up working out very well for you in the, uh, in the long and short term. Uh, but so from here, King of the Feralimps over these, so that I can search my Lizard Draw, get some draws going in that regard. Uh, I want to detach the rep here specifically for this one uh, to get the lizard draw. So I'm not too worried about that, uh, that Skullcrobat Joker being uh, stuck down there. But so then activate Geturtle, activate lizard draw, we'll start getting uh, we'll start getting our stuff. Now I don't even know what my opponent's playing at this point, uh, but this is just so inherently strong because it allows you to draw so many things. So yeah, there's another barrage, so I mean, uh, there's another strike, that's very good. Uh, and then we get to activate this and uh, use this to pop it for Dragon Pulse Magician to be a good just good low scale because I can leave it in my scale as a low scale or I can pop it out of my scale at a later time. Uh, but so now I get to Pendulum Summon, so I'll Pendulum this from the extra deck, this from the extra deck, and I'll Pendulum the Dragoons of Draconia. I'm going to leave the, uh, the other Pendulum Sorcerer in the extra deck because I'm going to be overlaying with this one. Uh, so that'll just be a resource that's left in my extra deck that'll be very, very good for me. Uh, but so, we'll go into the Emerald here, and I'm going to use the Emerald over the uh, Dragoons of Draconia and the, the uh, Pendulum Sorcerer. And I'm going to use this Emerald, detaching the Dragoons so that it goes back into my deck alongside this Rat, this Broad Bull, and this, uh, and this uh, Dragoons itself will go back. That way I can search it off a of Broad Bull next turn uh, and have that. Damn it! I didn't want to draw the rat. Fuck that. Um, it's gonna get summoned out of my hand. So there's there's one uh, there's one little less plus that I get because I just drew that rat. Um, that's irritating. So I'm gonna re-equip the rat here under the tiger mortar, and then use the tiger mortar to summon that rat that I literally just drew from my hand. Uh, rip in peace. 
Uh, but then I'm going to just summon another Digesto Emerald, get another draw again, and we should be good to go. And I'm going to set three. I'm going to set the... <laughs> I'm going to set all the stuff. Uh, but so I'll detach the Wisdom Eye here. I'll put back Wisdom Eye, put back Shaka Nine, and I'll put back Rep here. And so those will all go back. I'll get to draw another card. There's... <laughs> okay, then. Well, looky looky. Um, like, all this stuff is just super strong and super good uh, for what it allows. I've got the Whip Tail in hand, so I'm perfectly fine with summoning the Dryden in attack mode. Um, with just one material under it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna set four and I'm gonna pass. I've got my scales up. I've got a sorcerer in my extra deck. <laughs> what what more do you want me to do? What more do you want from me? Like this is uh this is the reason why I'm playing the pendulum stuff is because it just allows you to have all of the access into all of this stuff. Uh, whereas like you know with regular zoo post ban list you don't get access into anything. I wonder if he's playing paleo. Uh, he's setting a lot of cards. And it makes me feel very bad <laughs> that he could be playing Paleo. Uh, and this motherfucker, whenever he plays Paleo, uh, he plays cards. He plays cards like Wabaku and Storming Mirror Force and shit. And it always irritates me to no end. Uh, but, so, I don't have access to using either of these Emeralds yet. But I do have access to Barrage Summoning from Deck and King of the Fair Lamps getting me a Lizard Draw. Uh, so that's the thing that we can have access to here, is that this can search for Lizard Draw. I could search for Mass Chameleon, make it Nister, start removing some of his cards from the board, but there's no need for me to be doing that. I'm going to be playing this pretty safe. Uh, but that puts another card in my graveyard, which is good. And now what I can do is I can use my Barrage here on the Dragon Pulse Magician so that it goes away. I've got Tinky for a low scale uh, if that becomes something that is needed. Uh, but I can actually just go ahead and I can summon uh, I can summon Thoroughblade, rotate the Whiptail out of my hand, um, and then summon another Dryden is uh, the possibility here that I have access to. Or I could just summon Whiptail and put it under Dryden. Uh, there's a few different options I've got access to. Uh, I do need to clear the Barrage out of my scale, uh, or out of my uh, zone so I can play this Tanky. Because I've got another Barrage down, I'm not worried about that. And I wanted that clear for the uh, Lizard Draw. Um, I could go into, yeah, I'll go into Thoroughblade and use Thoroughblade to rotate the Whiptail out of my hand because that way I'm just, I'm keeping my resources flowing, uh, right? And so we'll discard this, that's another tanky, okay. Uh, now what I'm going to utilize here is I can use Emerald, I can activate and draw cards, but I'm going to first do my Guturtle Wizard draw play uh, so that I draw cards before I put cards back into my deck. Uh, that's a Sky Iris. That's very good. That means that I actually just get to pop this Barrage now uh, without actually um, without actually having to use Dryden on it. That's actually just great. Um, but so my entire board is really clogged, but that's fine. Uh, that's exactly exactly fine. I could be playing Odd Eyes Fusion. That's a, definitely an addition that I could have in this deck, but I'm not sure it's something I want to do per se. Uh, but I can Dag Dagger Man at any point forward. I can do this under here. I have the search off the Tinky and the Broad Bull that I'm about to get uh, here. So that's what we'll be going into first. I'll go into Hammer Kong here uh, so that I can go into Broad Bull, detach that, and then shuffle it back with Emerald. Basically. Uh, I'm just not respecting Torrential Tribute at all. Uh, in fact, let's see, what do we got here? We've got four, we've got three Engrave, uh, and I can easily make that a fourth. So I will do that, um, just so that we can have this flowing well enough. Uh, but I'll shuffle these back, the Whiptail, everything. The only thing I'm going to leave in the grave is the Borbo. Uh, and so that goes, draws a card, it's another Tinky. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> tinky, Tinky, Tinky. Um, okay, so now from here, I'll be able to go into the Broad Bull over this. It'll have its boost, uh, which is what we're looking for. Uh, we'll activate this, detaching the Hammer Kong, and then we'll be able to shuffle that back with another Emerald uh, as things go. Ah, Solemn Strike on this? Okay, sure. Uh, it's not like that doesn't actually... That doesn't actually matter because I've, I'm so far ahead in card advantage, and now you've made my second Emerald alive. So, like, that's just fantastic. And I've got three Tinkies in my hand and another Barrage. I literally do not care about any of these things. So I'll put back this, this, and the Hammer Kong. Uh, so those will all go back, that will be fine. 
uh, drawing a card, another Duelist Alliance, which I can then activate, and I can get access to Luster Pendulum, uh, which would be very, very good for me. I haven't Normal Summoned yet this turn, I do not believe, and so what I can do is I could use... I could use the Dryden to pop my King of the Fair Limps. I could Pendulum Summon, Normal Summon into uh, Ignister, and then start spinning cards uh, very effectively. So that's what we'll do. We'll we'll just start spinning things. I don't want to give him the time of day uh, to try and deal with anything. In fact, I'm not going to pop the King of the Fair Limps. I'm going to pop one of the Emeralds. They they all have no materials. There's no reason for me to be leaving them on the board for any reason other than just being uh, just being difficult. Now. There are no Performer Pal cards in Grave, so I'm going to activate this in my scale. And so, I'm not going to waste the Dag Dagger Man. And then I'll be able to go Extra Deck and Extra Deck. Pendulum these two. And we'll just be able to keep going. Like, this deck literally just keeps on going. Now I can use this to pop the... Uh, I can use this to pop... What do I want to pop? I'll just pop this by itself. So I've got a low scale. Um, I've got a low scale already. I'm not worried about anything else. Um, I could have popped this. I probably actually should have popped this now that I think about it. Uh, because now my field is kind of clogged and I can't make Ignister. But that is fine by me because I can make a Tornado Dragon and start popping some of these back rows anyway. So we will do that. We'll use Tornado Dragon, pop one of these. Uh, I'll probably switch... Let's see, Wabaku? Okay, he's playing Paleo. <laughs> he is 100% playing the Paleozoics. And so I'll use Tenki here to add the Whiptail to hand. I've got the Tornado Dragon, which I can use. I've got the uh, I've got the Solemns, which I can use all of. I'm, I'm just going to end my turn here. Like, look at all the cards I have. I'm just leading the game in card advantage because of what this deck lets you do. Um, this deck just lets you lead because of the fact that you get to Pendulum Summon on top of doing your zoo shit. Um, that's a Reckless. I'm glad I hit that. We don't want to give him extra cards. Um, and so now from here, I can do Whip Tails, I can do Tinkies, I can Sky Iris uh, this Tinky away, so I can activate another Tinky. Um, so we'll get the Unicorn here, not like it matters. I'm literally just cycling around cards. If I had Odd Eyes Fusion and an, is an accessible card, that would be great. Uh, but I don't have it in this list. I probably should put it in, but it's just something that I'm not really too worried about. But, so we'll add another Whiptail to hand. Thurblade is engraved, not worrying about that. I can use Barrage uh, to pop the Emerald. I can make another Emerald. Um, I can do a lot, a lot of things. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so we'll use this Barrage. I'll use this barrage on emerald number one that is just chilling here. I'm just going to literally start rotating my cards out for better cards. Um, that's all that's going to be happening here uh, that you're going to be seeing. Uh, I can summon Ram Ram, which means I can Pendulum out Pendulum Sorcerer, uh, which would allow me do, to do some things there. Or I could just start trying to go into my cards again. Uh, this would be the possibilities that are available here. Uh, I can try and Pendulum first. And then, I can, let's see, do I have Diamond Dyer in this extra deck? I don't think I do. I 100% don't think that I do. No, I've got Dweller, I've got an Emerald. Uh, but, so what I can do here is that I can Normal Summon the Skullcrabat Joker, uh, use its effect to search for something, and then I can make another Emerald, and I can use Dryden to pop one of my things to clear space for my Ignister Summon. Um, that's the thing, is that I'm getting to the point where I'm having a hard time keeping things moving because of the fact that everything is uh, that everything is so hard to keep uh, keep access to, uh, but so I can activate Dag Dagger Man here. We'll get a draw off the Turtle. Fuck, I've got so many cards. Um, we're gonna activate this. I'm going to pop the Tornado Dragon because I should be able to make it again. Uh, <laughs> I'm just doing all of this extra shit. Um, if he didn't strike my Pendulum Summon, I don't think there's gonna be a pendul uh, a strike down there for this Emerald. But even if he does, I've got access to a Pendulum Pool, which makes everything fine anyway. Um, so we're not really too worried about it if he if he does. Uh, but so I'll detach the Skulker by Joker. I'll put back Tornado Dragon, Emerald, and um, and Emerald. I'm just gonna put back all the Emeralds first. Uh, that's just the safest way to go about business. I'm I'm just having having my fun, having my cake, having my fun. Uh, this doesn't have any em uh, materials on it, but I've got Double Whip Tail in hand, so that is fine. Um, I can use the Dag Dagger Man here uh, to go into my scale. 
the Geturtle gets to activate. I'm literally just zerging him with monsters. Zerging him with advantage. Uh, I get to activate this to add back my Skullcrobat Joker. <laughs> like, this is just not... not... this is not okay. I'm gonna Pendulum Summon from hand just so I don't have to discard at the end of my turn. Um, so I can Pendulum Summon out this and... Uh, this. Yeah. We'll Pendulum these from hand. Um, because they'll be synchroed with, they'll go into my extra deck as resources anyway. Uh, not worried about it. Uh, but so now I get to make Ignister, which I can use to spin away his monster, because I have no idea what it is. Um, so that's Ignister out. I can use Ignister here to uh, pop the Dag Daggerman, or I could pop the Geturtle, since it's done its business, basically. Um, there's a few different things, but I want to get uh, value out of the Wisdom Eye, um, which Wisdom Eye can only get low scales for me. Uh, so that's something I'm not worried about. In fact, I don't think I'm worried about this because I've got literally every trap in the game to deal with monsters. So I'm just going to start spinning back rows. Uh, this is something that I'm perfectly fine with. Uh, is just maintaining. Uh, but I need to get rid of one of these uh, at some point just to maintain that. But I'm going to put the Wisdom Eye here. I'm going to pop it for a Dragon Pulse. I've got so many low scales that I've got access to. Oh wait, I don't have any Dragon Pulses left in my deck, do I? Okay, well... Then we're just going to protect it and use Barrage or Gnister on it next turn. I'm literally just trying to get cards out of my hand. It's it's okay. Um, we, we've we gotten we've gotten everything that we need out of our advantage yield. Uh, I don't even care if he has something like Storming Mirror Force or a Mirror Force because then that just puts everything back. I'm going to turn this to defense position just because it doesn't necessarily... I don't necessarily want to leave myself wide open. Uh, I'm going to attack this. I'm going to mute my phone. I'm going to attack this and uh, and basically just banish this Ronin Toten. Uh, even if either of these were anything that I was worried about, not not something that's going to be a problem. We're just gonna we're just gonna whittle him down. We're winning the game on card advantage purely. <laughs> I've literally just taken like a minus five from my hand this turn just so I didn't have to discard. Uh, in terms of just putting Whip Tails under the Dryden, doing all this extra shit. Uh, do I have any other things I can activate that can destroy cards so I can activate this other Tinky? No, I do not. So we are just going to uh, pass turn and see what happens. Now I've got a Ghost Ash, too. I've got an Ash Blossom. This deck is so powerful. I have so much fun with this deck. I feel like this deck is going to be absolutely insane. Um, once we... I'm going <laughs> to... Ash Blossom the Reckless Greed. <laughs> Fuck Paleo. Fuck this deck. This deck, isn't, this deck ain't nobody's fool. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fold to this bullshit. All right, set one pass. Hell yeah. All right, so now we just we we have the killing turn. There's another Ash Blossom. Look at that. Look at how many cards I have left in deck. I've, I've been cycling around like crazy. Uh, but so I'll activate this, popping this, uh, just to get access to a uh, Ram Ram, uh, and then I can put a thing in my scale which can then be used, so I can put I can put this in my scale, it doesn't actually matter, or I can put this in my scale, uh, because I've still got Pendulum Sorcerers left in my deck um, that are low scales. Uh, but so, I'll activate this, boink, we'll put, use this to spin his back row, Wabaku, hell yeah. Hell yeah, man, you, you gotta. <laughs> you just gotta. <laughs> so I can't kill him this turn. Shit. Uh, well, at least I'm going to mold my board status. Uh, so I can activate this, uh, detaching the rat, shuffling back Tiger Mortar, shuffling back Thurblade, shuffling back a Dragon Pulse Magician just to be back in my deck because I still have a Wisdom Eye there, uh, which means I could utilize that. That's Duelist Alliance. That's still live, actually, strangely enough. Um, I can activate this Dryden't. Um, yes, I'll activate the Dryden't, detaching this, popping this uh, for a very specific reason because I can Normal Summon this. Uh, no, I don't want a warning it. I want to use the effect. I'm going to use the effect to get Wisdom Eye, which I can then rotate out for that Dragon Pulse that I just put back. And uh, and then I'm able to make a rank 4 in the form of Tornado Dragon. Uh, so I'll have Dryden Tornado Dragon, and I'm able to just put Tiger Mortar that I just put back into my extra deck on top of this. Reclaim that Whip Tail that I just uh, got rid of, and then put Dryden on top of uh, on top of it again, uh, so we're we're just able to do that. Um, I can actually get a bullhorn search as well. Um, I see summoning using zoo monsters. Yes, uh, so we'll do that. 
and then I can detach from this and I'll be able to search for the Thoroughblade which I can use with the Tinky to do things like that and then we will just make the Drydent on top of this it is back at 25 and now I can make the Tornado Dragon again and I can pop whatever he sets. I haven't had to use any of these three trap cards. That's boggling my goddamn mind that I haven't had to. Um, and so what I'm gonna actually do here is I'm gonna summon the Dag Dagger Man and I'm gonna use Dag Dagger Man's Thoroughblade like effect. Wait, what? Oh, it doesn't activate on summon, it activates any time. Okay, I was like, Why are, where's the prompt? And there's the, <laughs> there's the fourth trap. All right. Okay, all right, my man. Um, oh shit! All right, so we'll intern here. We've literally been sitting here doing this for 20 minutes, and I've just been doing nothing but extending my play string and reach. Um, but so in phase, tornado dragon. Bye, Felicia. Um, so now it's 100% the kill turn because he's at 1850, and I have how much on on board? <laughs> Let's not think about this. Alright. So we're just going to attack with this Drydent, and that's just going to be game. Okay, so he's playing Paleo, and I gave him a royal dicking uh, for how that was meant to be going. Uh, because I was able to start, and I was able to do my amazing combo. And, like I said, the reason I'm playing this deck specifically is because post the June format list, when we get to change things up a bit, we get to experiment with it, this list becomes really strong in a zoo variant in the aspect of you are just performing so many draws every turn you're keeping your combo string up and I'm of the belief that monsters beat traps like combo potentiality is almost always going to be better than just walling behind trap cards because of the fact that traps cannot attack for game with the exception of Paleozoic that's the only exception to that rule those trap cards have attack points but regardless like pure zoo decks of the next format they they have a lot of traps they can fall back on I'm in the aspect of you know I'm in the area of belief that if you're able to pop off and combo consistently and be able to do it a lot, then your deck is inherently going to be much better suited for success because of that's how that ends up working. Because you're more aggressive, you're able to generate your own defensive lines, you're able to do things every turn through your opponent's traps, things like that. Um, you're using your more capable resource against their finite trap resource, stuff like that. There's multiple little in in tune like complexities of how that works but anyway that has been this video that has been this duel the deck list is on screen with for the current format the june formatted one the uh, june 12th format list there's one on my channel but it's not nearly as decent as it needs to be because i left out some card choices that i realized were mandatory uh for like different combos to work uh, but you can definitely check that out for a uh, blueprint of how that <laughs> could be functioning and working uh there's all these things you can consider but anyway as always guys thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are on this deck in the comments down below what your thoughts on this game were and all that sort of stuff and what your thoughts on my points that i talked about in this game were as well but links as always are in the description of my facebook and patreon pages if you want to support the channel directly then patreon is the best way to do so anything as little as a dollar to the maximum amount of rewards here i have set gets you different amounts of capabilities and perks and all that sort of nonsense such things like access into my personal discord server where dmall came from it's a place where i get all of my people that i play with for videos uh so if you're interested in that then definitely go check that out or if you just want to talk on a 24 7 basis whenever i have access to a computer or a phone then that is also something that you would like to go check out. But even something as little as a dollar a day is a fantastic way to show your support for something that you like and is also a fantastic way to help some future projects and things I have for the channel come into fruition a bit sooner than they would normally. So definitely check that out if you want to support the channel. But other than that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that like button, all that sort of nonsense. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd love to welcome you to the community of the people that surround this channel and help make what I do here possible. And all that sort of stuff would welcome you if you're new here. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more awesome YouTube content. But other than that, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I will see you in the next video.